Hi, I'm Dan Kamen, and I'm a professor at the University of California, Berkeley, and I'm co-director of Berkeley's Institute for the Environment. I'm very pleased to support the efforts of the Backbone Campaign, which brings a fresh perspective and some new ideas to the political debate. As a candidate for Secretary of Energy, there are several things that the country needs to embark on, both quickly and aggressively. And in a first 100 days effort by a new administration, these are what I would put on the agenda to, and work aggressively for. The first is to articulate a clear platform for the U.S. energy policy, not only to bring down our own greenhouse gas emissions, but also to move many of the world's economies that are dependent on our decisions for technology, research, and development, and also for deployment to market. The first one, therefore, is to articulate clearly how the U.S. will meet targets for significantly reducing greenhouse gas emissions by 70 or 80 percent by mid-century. And the second one is to do so in a way that supports job growth and a sustainable energy secure economy. This next step in that would be to coordinate such an effort with the departments of agriculture, Department of Defense, and the Environmental Protection Agency that are critical partners in building a clean energy coalition. And those are partnerships that have been far too quiet and far too underemphasized in the past. And building this as a presidential, a cabinet level initiative is critical to moving the entire platform forward. The next piece is to find ways to aggressively bring to market clean energy technologies, including solar, wind, biofuels, geothermal, wave energy technologies, all of which the U.S. can be leaders in, and building up significant efforts in these areas would generate green jobs that would be locally manufactured and locally implemented in terms of bringing the technologies fully to market. To do that, we would need a combination of federal investment in pilot and startup efforts, and we would need a close coordination with U.S. industry to make these technologies available to the market, and in fact, to see that they come to market in a timely fashion. Neither of those have happened in the past, with largely disconnected programs at the federal and utility level on technology push and demand pull. A new cabinet needs to make that a centerpiece of the administration, and in fact, the job growth benefits of this energy secure, low carbon technology market are what we expect to get out of a coordinated federal program that works with what many of the states are doing today. I believe that can be implemented through a new campaign of coordinating our research efforts and our deployment efforts, and I look forward to bringing those to you in a coming administration. Thank you very much.